Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 26 at Le Moustoir, where Lille made short work of Lorient to remain top of Ligue 1 Uber Eats. The northern side got a slice of luck with their opener on 21 minutes. A shot from Zeki Celik and or Jonathan David deflected in off Andrew Gravion. But the home side equalised just two minutes later. Terem Moffi teeing up Jerome Ergo for his maiden top flight goal. He's enjoying his first season in Ligue 1 Uber Eats at the age of 34. Lovely finish there. Lille, though, were back in control before half time. Now, how about this for a finish from their captain, Jose Fonts? Not at all bad for a centre back, his second of the season. Jonathan Ikone then came up with the pick of the bunch just before the hour mark. A superbly struck free kick for 3 1. That's his fourth of the season, the first since just before Christmas. There was even time for left-back Domagoj Bradaric to come off the bench and get his first goal for the club after being teed up by Yusuf Yazudja. Lille claiming their seventh victory in eight games and their seventh win in a row on the road. They're three points clear at the top. Well, Lyon up to second after making the most of an error-strewn display from Brest. Goalkeeper Sebastian Sibar was the first culprit. The former PSG man dispossessed by Lucas Paqueta, who stabbed in his fourth of the season the third in February alone. Disaster for Sibwa, who came in for an out-of-sorts Gutier Lassana just a couple of weeks ago. The next man to lose the ball in a precarious position was Paul Lan, who'd already been sent off in the reverse fixture. Thiago Mendes to Memphis to pie to Hussein Awa, and that was 2-0. Also a fourth for Awa, his first in exactly two months. Depay also getting on the score sheet before half-time after being brought down in the area by Sibwa. His evening getting even worse. And the Leon captain converting the spot kick himself to make it 14 for the campaign. Brest, to their credit, did fight back in the second half, even if they'd given themselves a mountain to climb. Frank Honorat crossing for Brendan Chardonnay to make it 3-1. A sweet header here for his second of the season. Chardonnay then turned provider for Irvin Cardona, who was played onside by Mattia de Siglio. A sixth of the season for him, but Brest let down by their first half performance. 3-2, it finished. Well, PSG slipped a third as they lost 2-0 at home to Monaco. The champions have failed to beat any of the members of the top four this season. Sofian Ziop are giving the Principality side a sixth minute lead after being nicely teed up here by Ruben Aguilar. The 20-year-old with his sixth of the campaign. Well, PSG unable to build on their excellent Champions League win over Barcelona in midweek. Perhaps a few tired legs in their ranks. Monaco's second goal arriving in the sixth minute of the second half. A bit of pinball in the PSG area. And centre-back Guillermo Marapan stroking in his fifth of the season. He's the most prolific defender in Ligue 1 Uber Eats now. Eight wins in nine for Monaco. They've done the league double over PSG for the first time in over a decade. Lance are currently the best of the rest. Their victory over Dijon pushed them up to fifth in the table, albeit some 12 points behind the top four. The promoted side taking the lead on the half hour through their record signing Seca Fafana. A lovely finish for his first goal since joining last summer. Bottom side Dijon drew level on the hour mark and it was another lovely hit. Claudio Ngonda trying his luck from distance and squeezing this effort past Jean-Louis Leck for 1-1. Second of the season for him. Well, just a minute after that equaliser, Simon Banza came off the bench and two minutes later he scored the winner for Lance, volleying home Jonathan Klaus's free kick. 2-1, the final score. Mess are also flying high in sixth place after they saw off an injury-ravaged Nice. Bubakar Koyate getting his first goal for Mess on 15 minutes, turning in Farid Belaya's cross, also his first in Ligue 1 Uber Eats. Well, Mess coach Frederic Antonetti just extended his contract until 2024 and it's not hard to see why. His side doubling their advantage on 38 minutes. Mathieu Udol crossing for Lamine Gay to get his first goal since early November. Well, Nice did get on the score sheet when Amin Guiri was brought down in the area by Fabian Santons. Guiri tested positive for COVID-19 on Friday, but a negative test on Saturday meant he was cleared to play. A lovely Penenka, but it wasn't enough for Nice. They've lost it three on the bounce and they're languishing down in 16th place. Montpellier, on the other hand, have now won three in a row after getting the better of Rennes. Steffi Mavadidi putting them ahead from a Teji Savanier free kick. 
The Englishman had waited two months for a goal and then got two in the space of ten minutes. Jonas Martin gifting possession to his former side and after Elie Wahi was blocked, Mavadidi followed up in some style. The 22-year-old with his second brace in the French top flights. The silver lining for Rem was that Cerro Gurassi finally ended a goal drought that stretched back to late September, even if he was injured for a couple of months. This one very well taken indeed, but his side are now winless in five outings. 2-1, the final score. Well, there was some more comedy goalkeeping as Nantes entertained Marseille, looking to build on last week's long-awaited victory in Angers. Alvaro Gonzalez's back pass completely bamboozling Stepman Dander. And it gave Ludovic Blas the simplest of finishes for his sixth of the campaign. Sibwa or Mandanda for Howler of the Week. You decide. But the Marseille captain's blushes were spared by Dimitri Payet, who scored a fine equaliser midway through the second half. Lovely control there from Valentin Rangier. And then a perfect cross in from Yutu Nagatomo. And there was Payet to sweep in for the second time this season against his boyhood club. Both sides settling for a point as it finished 1-1. There was also a draw at the Stade de la Mino where Strasbourg and Angers both failed to break the deadlock. Romain Thomas coming closest for Angers, but he was unable to add to his three-goal tally. Adrian Thomason netted a brace in the derby win of a mess last time out for Strasbourg, but he had also left his shooting boots at home. Easy that one for Paul Bernardoni. Habib Diallo almost won it for Strasbourg at the death, but they were denied by the woodwork for the eighth time in 2021. Nil-nil, the final score. Nîmes gave their survival hopes a shot in the arm by beating Bordeaux, tasting victory on home soil for the first time since way back in August. Bergen Melling got the opener on 14 minutes after a nice one-two with Zinedine Ferhat. He hadn't scored since that last home win on the opening day of the season. Bordeaux later had Loris Benito sent off and Neem made their extra man count. A lovely header from Runo Rippard to round out a 2-0 win. Neem two points from safety and they'll face the two teams above them next week. Bordeaux, on the other hand, have now lost four in five. Finally, it was the battle of the super subs in Saint-Étienne. Elbel Altore coming off the bench to put Reims ahead against Liver on 72 minutes, ending a 10-game scoring drought. But Charles Abbey, who came on within a minute of Touré, dragged Saint-Étienne level on 89 minutes. First, there was a great save off the line, but there was Abbey with the follow-up. All three of his top fight goals have now come as a substitute, all in 2021. Tony Buanga could even have won it for Saint-Étienne at the death, but he managed to slam wide from point-blank range. 1-1 the final score then. The two sides both on 30 points, seven clear of the relegation playoff place. So all the results from week 26, 27 goals scored. Some big away wins for the big guns with Leon, Lille and Monaco all victorious on the road. There was just a one goalless draw and a huge win for Nîmes at home to Bordeaux. So now just six points separating the top four led by Lille and then a big gap from Monaco down to Lens. It's tight in the battle for Europe though. Four teams are locked on 38 points. Angers remain just inside the top 10. Dijon are looking increasingly lonely down at the bottom, now six points adrift of Nîmes. Lorient and Nantes both have 23 points and both go to Nîmes this week. There is then a six-point gap up to Nice and Strasbourg. Two teams who are in real need of victory, Ren and Nice, will kick off week 27 on Friday, while PSG will be looking to bounce back in Dijon. Lille entertains Strasbourg on Sunday before the big Sunday night game, the Olympico, between Marseille and Lyon.